let's take a look at circles. The radius of a circle is one inch. What is the circle's diameter? Okay, so let's think about these vocabulary words here for a second, radius and diameter. So if I have a circle, the radius is the measurement from the center of the circle to any point on the edge. So that would be my radius. Now the diameter would be the measurement from one edge of a circle right through the center to the other edge. So the diameter is always twice the radius. So if I know my radius is one inch, I would have to double that. Two times one inch is gonna give me a diameter of two inches. The diameter of a circle is 16 feet. What is the circle's radius? Well, we saw this just a second ago. The radius is exactly half of the diameter, right? So when we knew the radius, we doubled it to get the diameter. Here, we have to go backwards. And again, if you look at your circle, that's not a perfect circle, but pretend it is. The radius goes from the center to one side, and the diameter is twice that. It goes from one edge to the other through the center. So if we know the diameter is 16 feet, well, the radius would have to be half of that. 16 divided by two would give me eight feet. The diameter of a circle is 22 miles. What is the circle's radius? Okay, well, we saw that a radius is exactly half the diameter. So if we know the diameter is 22, 22 divided by two would give me a radius of 11 miles. The diameter of a circle is seven millimeters. What is the circle's circumference? Okay, well we saw radius and diameter a moment ago. Circumference is the measurement all the way around the outside edge of the circle. Okay, so if I, if I measured all the way around this circle, that would be the circumference. We do have a formula that the circumference is two times the radius times pi. Okay, or sometimes we write that as two pi r. I think that's the way you're more likely gonna see it. Okay. Well, notice the diameter is already two times the radius, right? The, the diameter is twice the radius. So instead of saying two, two times the radius times pi, we can also say pi times the diameter, right? Because two times the radius is the diameter. So since they gave us the diameter, let's use that version of our formula. Okay, so I'm gonna say the circumference is equal to pi, now they told us to approximate pi using 3.14, so I'm going to say 3.14 times the diameter, or two times the radius, right, either one. I already know the diameter, or two times my radius is seven. And then we just multiply that together. 3.14 times seven gives me 21.98. And of course, our units were in millimeters. So 21.98 millimeters would be our circumference or our distance all the way around the edge of that circle. The circumference of a circle is 31.4 centimeters. What is the circle's radius? Okay, so we already know that our formula to figure out the circumference was two pi r, right? Two times pi times the radius. So I can set this up and work backwards. I can solve that equation if I plug numbers in for everything except for r. So the circumference they told us was 31.4. So in place of c, I'm gonna put 31.4.
Okay, so I'm rewriting this equation. Instead of C, I'm putting 31.4, since we know that's the circumference, is equal to 2 times pi. They told us to use 3.14 for pi. And that would be multiplied times the radius. So I'm going to take this equation, and I'm going to solve it for R. Okay, well 2 times 3.14, that would give me 6.28 times the radius. Now if I want to solve for my radius, it's being multiplied by 6.28, so my opposite or inverse would be to divide by 6.28. On this side, it cancels out and leaves me with r. And on the other side, I've got to divide 31.4 divided by 6.28. And that's going to give me 5. So my radius is equal to 5. And of course, that's going to be in centimeters. The radius of a circle is 2 meters. What is the circle's area? Okay, so notice they're giving us a different vocabulary word. The area of a circle is all the space occupied by the circle. So that would be the measurement of everything, all the space inside my circle. Okay, we have a formula for area of a circle. The area is equal to pi times the radius squared. Okay, so plugging my numbers in, I'm going to say the area is equal to, they told us to use 3.14 in place of pi. I'm going to put 2 in place of my radius, and that gets squared. Now you do need to think about order of operations. Remember, you do the exponent before you multiply. So I'm going to leave the 3.14 alone for just a moment. And I'm going to multiply 2 squared. 2 squared, or 2 times 2, gives me 4. And then my final step is going to be to multiply 3.14 times 4. And that gives me 12.56. Okay, and one thing to notice about your units, if the radius was in meters, we multiplied meters by meters when we squared it, so our answer is going to be in meters squared. The diameter of a circle is 10 millimeters. What is the circle's circumference? Okay, well we saw circumference a little bit a few moments ago. Remember circumference, you can say 2 pi r, or since 2 times the radius is the diameter, you can also say pi times d, or pi times the diameter. And I'm going to use that bottom one since they told me the diameter is 10 millimeters. So I'm going to set this up. The circumference is equal to, they told me to use 3.14, which is pi rounded to just two decimal places, times the diameter of 10. Now multiplying by 10, remember you would just move the decimal point one place. So 3.14 times 10 would give me 31.4. And the units are still millimeters, because remember, circumference, you're just measuring around the outside edge of your circle. The radius of a circle is 3 centimeters. What is the circle's circumference? Okay, well remember, 
we can use circumference is equal to 2 times pi times the radius. So when I plug my numbers in here, I'm going to say circumference is equal to 2. In place of pi, we're going to use our 3.14, right? Pi rounded to two decimal places. And we know the radius is 3, so in place of r, I'm going to put 3. And it always helps to show your work if you take a second and plug all the numbers in the right places instead of just typing them in your calculator, that's a much better way to practice setting up these problems and it cuts down on a lot of silly mistakes. Okay, and now we're just multiplying those three numbers together. So two times 3.14 gives me 6.28. And then I'm gonna still multiply that times three. And that's going to give me 18.84 centimeters. The radius of a circle is one mile. What is the circle's area? And again, be really careful. Make sure you are reading the questions carefully because some of them are asking us about the circumference. Some are asking us about the area. So we need to make sure to read carefully and use the right formula. We saw the area formula a few minutes ago and we said area is equal to pi times the radius squared. So when I plug in my information, I'm gonna say the area is equal to in place of pi, we're going to use 3.14. They told us the radius is one mile, so in place of r, I'm going to put one, and then that gets squared. Now you do have to think about order of operations. Remember, you do the exponent before you multiply. So I'm going to leave the 3.14 for a moment, and one squared means one times one, which just gives me one. And then I'm going to multiply. 3.14 times 1 gives me 3.14. So my area would be 3.14 miles squared. The radius of a circle is 3 inches. What is the circle's area? Okay, so just like in the last problem, we're going to make sure we use the right formula. The area formula is pi times the radius squared for area of a circle. And then I'm going to plug in all my information. So the area is equal to, for pi, we're going to put 3.14. The radius, they told us, was 3 inches, so I'm going to put 3 in place of r. And then remember the radius gets squared, so that's gonna be three squared. Thinking about order of operations, exponent before you multiply, so I'm gonna leave 3.14 alone, and I'm gonna square three. Three squared, or three times three, gives me nine. And then my final step is to multiply 3.14 times nine, and that's gonna give me 28.26. And of course, our units were in inches, so my area is going to be in inches squared.